Hi, this is Kelly from Petaka Kelly and Play, Learn, Talk, and I'm super excited to share this sneak peek with you because this is what we're going to be working on our next three videos. So we're in the middle of an escape room series where I am showing you different features that you can later pick and choose from to create your very own escape room. So today I'm going to just give you a demonstration of three features that you're going to learn how to do if you stick through with this series over the next three videos, okay? So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel or at least add the playlist so that you can go in order and find the different features you want to add to your escape room, okay? So the first feature that we're going to learn how to do is how to make a navigation button that has rounded edges. So you'll often see navigation buttons that have square edges and we want to have a rounded edge here for our doorknob. Now this is an escape room so basically I have my students or the user students trapped inside of this room obviously until they find the right key. So we're also going to learn how to use conditional linking to make sure that the students cannot get out of this room until they find the correct key. Now the third thing that we're going to learn how to do, which I'm really excited about, is I'm going to show you a workaround so that if you have students or your users who have students that the feedback from the accuracy of your drop zone is distracting so they don't like seeing that red or green circle or you don't like seeing it, we're going to find a workaround to actually make it appear as if that is not happening. So let me quickly demonstrate this page to you and then make sure you're subscribed because tomorrow I'm going to jump into the first feature to show you. You can also leave a comment below and let me know which of these three features you want to learn first and I will prioritize it based on who I hear from. All right, here's the page. There are three keys on the floor. Try to find which one opens the door. Place one key at a time on top of the key that's already on that spot. After you've placed a key on top, press the doorknob to see if it will unlock. So we're going to go and move one of the keys. So these are draggable keys. I'm placing it directly on top of that, the key on that spot. And then I hit the doorknob. Whoops. And it gives me the whoop sound, but it does not give me the red circle behind my door. Now I can always turn off the sound feature if I wanted to do that as well. So let's go ahead and try the second key. Whoops. And that one doesn't work either. And this is my third one, which will work. And I've used conditional linking in a flow magic deck to make sure that this is possible. So I'm going to click here and that would take me to my next page that I had programmed. So if you're excited about this series and learning these three features, make sure to leave a comment below and share this with anyone else who's going to be excited about creating their own escape room boom card game as well. All right. I'll see you in the next video.